Okay, so what we got going on today is I'm building the frame for the passenger side with the passenger door, and I pre-drilled I pre-drilled the holes in the ends of this with a fine 32nd inch bit, and then uh, put a little glue on there to uh, make sure it's good and solid. It's just a simple procedure. Uh, a little glue on there, and I use the three inch screws for the, I don't know, want it to have good grip. I want it to be really super solid. I don't want to shake loose on that road or something weird like that. That's why I you want to put a, a luggage wrap or something on the roof. It's just solid. It will be solid. The hardest thing is, is finding. Lumber is straight, man. I went and picked through all the lumber at the lumber yard. I thought I was getting really straight stuff, and after I got home and started sorting through it, I realized it's not good. Not that perfect. I think perfect lumber would probably, probably be unaffordable these days. So. Do this real quick. Let you see the framing of the side. These dollies are great for working on it because you move it around, but they're also the other issue to it is sometimes uh, it just rolls on its own. But that's all right. I have chocks for that. I just didn't put them down yet. That's what threw me off. I piled it on the wrong side. Put the power hole on the wrong side. A little bit more 
here. Never have too much glue. Never have too much glue. softer wood I prefer the coarser thread. If you use a really big wood, get the fine thread. Or if you just have a preference, use what you like. Now right in here, where you see the really big space, right in here, here, here that's for my door. So I gotta talk to my friend and see if he wants the door right there on flush with the floor or if he wants it up a little bit or centered. So I haven't put anything in here, but once I get the door, his door measurements, where I'm gonna put it, and I'll put my studs this way. And then I'll put me some rounded pieces. Let's say, let's say this is the top of the door right here. I'll put me a rounded piece in here. Kind of a you know square. And I'll round it there so the door has plenty of uh, structure to, to be screwed to and the wall's good and solid. Okay. Now you see down here I have the two by twos doubled up. And what I'll do when I lift this wall up this way and set it here uh, on the wheel well, I will uh, draw an arch, an arch, and cut through those two one by twos to make a little bit of a wheel arch. I don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. So uh, that's why I have those doubled up, so I can have extra thickness there to nail my siding, exterior siding, and interior siding on. Okay, so uh, I will uh, I get the door in. I'll I'll get the camera back out and make some more make some more film for you guys to look at, guys and girls. I know ladies build these campers too. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit bigger than normal, six and a half wide by eight long, and a 55 interior yeah 55 interior height, or the actually be 52 inch interior height because I got. One by twos. Yeah, be 53 and a half. That's what it'd be. Okay. That's what it'd be. Uh, I don't have my notes with me. I don't have cue cards, blah, blah, blah. I don't have a storyboard. I'm just a novice at this and I enjoy building stuff. So if you enjoy watching or if it's helping you in any way, please hit the like button. And I love subscribers. Hey, I will subscribe you right back to show my thankfulness. Thank you.